HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. It is Ryan here and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18. Plus. Welcome to the Having It All podcast the show about what it takes to live an abundant, loving life. My name is Matthew Bivens, and each week I'm helping you get out of your head so that you can truly have it all. Let's do it. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Having It All podcast. My name is Matthew Bivens, and I really appreciate you hanging out with me today for another episode of the show. Now, I might be coming across a little bit nasally today because I came down with something after returning from a Thanksgiving vacation. And uh, so my body is going through some healing and upgrading right now. And uh, that's where the, the the nasally sound comes from. By the way, I like to refer to feeling sick as upgrading, as opposed to being like, oh, I feel terrible or, you know, I'm so sick right now. I like to say my body is upgrading and uh, it's I'm, I'm going on to, you know, Matthew 2.0. But um, that's what's going on with me physically. And like I said, just returned from Thanksgiving. And um, this topic today is going to tie into, into the, my Thanksgiving trip a little bit. And I'll provide a little bit of, of background context when we get to that. But before we jump into the topic, um, I did want to say thank you. I wanted to give a, a thanks and a shout out to Rhonda. And Rhonda, if you're listening, I appreciate your email you sent me an email recently and it was awesome just, you know, sharing your your love and appreciation for the show. So I'm sending that right back at you. So Rhonda, thank you so much for emailing me and I actually don't believe I've emailed you back. So uh, you'll be getting that very soon from me. And, you know, I love receiving feedback on the show. Um, if you, you know, I, actually, I'm going to put this call out there because um, I want to, con- I, w- I want to continue to make a great podcast for you. Um, but I want to make it even better. And so I would love to hear from you what you would like to hear and experience from me and the Having It All podcast. You know, this really is something that I do for you, for you listening out there. And um, just share with me your thoughts. I want to hear, really, I want to hear like the things you you don't enjoy from the show or the things you want to hear less of or the things you'd like to hear more of. The compliments are awesome and you know, I'll be honest, it, it definitely fills up my, uh, my tank. I love those little ego boosts. But, um, you know, I want to improve. And you improve by receiving some constructive criticism and some feedback. So if you have any thoughts about the show, any thoughts about a particular episode, anything you want to share about me in general, please send me an email, mattcbivens at gmail.com. Again, that's mattcbivens at gmail.com. And, um, you know, I, I just, I want to create an awesome, awesome podcast for you. So we're going to jump into today's topic and, you know, it was, it was really kicked off by some unfortunate news. Um, last week I was looking into my phone and I happened to see that David Cassidy passed away. And if you don't know who David Cassidy is, 
Uh, he was one of the main actors on the TV show The Partridge Family back in the 70s. And even though I'm only 31 years old, um, I did watch Partridge Family. It, it came on whatever channel I had when I was a kid, along with Brady Bunch. And um, I have seen the show, and, I, and I've, I've watched the show. And um, David Cassidy played Keith Partridge. He's kind of the heartthrob. And um, yeah, so you know, I looked at my phone. Um, I don't know when it was, to Wednesday or Thursday, and it said that he had passed away. And um, you know, I thought, man, that's you know, it's always sad when when somebody passes, and um, you know, that that's always unfortunate. You sort of feel for their family and for the people who really appreciated their art and who were impacted by what they did. But what got me to stop and click on the actual article was his last words. And I, I think the article that I saw was on ABC News, and it, it, it just, uh, the title was something like, um, David Cassidy's daughter shares his final words, you know, on his deathbed, something like that. And I was very curious, you know, this guy who's been, you know, he was 67 when he died. So, you know, he was doing his TV show back in the 70s, so, you know, 40 something years ago. So he spent 40 plus odd years in the limelight, people knowing his name, you know, famous celebrity, living that lifestyle. And I'm, I'm curious what sort of lessons or insights or message did he want to leave to his family and to his fans and, and you know, and everybody else on his deathbed. So I click on the article and I open it up and his final words, according to his daughter, you know, this is all coming from his daughter. Uh, her name was Katie. And I think she tweeted this out after her father passed. She tweeted out his final words. And they were, so much wasted time. So much wasted time. And I thought, wow, that is unexpected. Unexpected, but man, impactful. HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together, following the pictured step-by-step -step instructions. It's a fun quality time, and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50HavingItAll and use code 50HavingItAll for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50HavingItAll and use code 50HavingItAll. Looking for a new career? Welcome to Do HVAC Training Service Center in North Charleston. Enroll today in our comprehensive HVAC training hands-on field experience-based program covering troubleshooting, maintenance, installation, and more on various HVAC systems and ductwork. We offer EPA and NAIT preparation and testing along with various certifications. Enjoy payment options. Achieve certification in under five months. Enroll now for your new journey of skill development and career advancement. Log on to DEWHVACTrainingSC.com to inquire and you know his daughter katie shared that those were his father's final words uh, her father's final words and you know she said that how, how it really touched her and that it just made her so incredibly grateful for the people that she has in her life and you know wants to continue to be appreciative and and, and show that gratitude every day and you know it it, it moved her and upon reading that, you know, those final words, so much wasted time. It moved me as well. And here's where all of this connects with the Thanksgiving experience. The past year and a half have been very, very challenging within my family. I have not been on, uh, on the same wavelength. Um, I've really been at odds with pretty much everyone in my family at some point within the past year and a half. Uh, both of my sisters, my mom and my dad. Um, this is stemming from an incident that went down between my, my father and, and one of my sisters. And, you know, me wanting to 
stand firm in what I believed in and, and my standards and how I was going to handle the situation um, really, really went at odds with everybody else. So that was sort of the climate. And a lot has happened in the past year and a half around that. Um, I've talked about it on the show. I've done a number of episodes, um, I think solely talking about the incident um, or different aspects of it. Um, and I've peppered in many, many episodes just comments and insights, things that I've learned because it's been so, such a, 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 a perfect place and space for me to practice a lot of these things that I talk about on the show. For me to practice seeking to understand before being understood. Practice patience. Practice empathy. You know, practice surrender. So many opportunities have been presented through this family situation. And I imagine for you as well, you know, when, when you're going through family situations, you know, you, you feel that immediate trigger of emotion and, 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 and you get heated up and like, boom, those are opportunities to just get into your Zen state. So anyway, all of this stuff had been swirling for a year and a half. Sarah and I decided that we were going to go on this Thanksgiving trip with my family. And we actually had a, a wonderful time, a wonderful, wonderful time. I would not have guessed it, 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 it would have gone that way just you know, two weeks ago. I really would not have, have believed that it could have gone so well, but it did. And so when I'm reflecting on what David Cassidy had to say before he passed, so much wasted time. And I look back on this whole 18 months with my family, I cannot help but ask myself how much time, energy, and emotion I was expending that, given where we are right now, sort of feels like a waste. And, you know, I do believe that we had to go through all of that stuff to get to where we are today. But what feels like a waste for me is when I stepped off of my path, when I was inauthentic, when I was misaligned with my standards and my values. When I did all of those things, I, I, I never came out on top. Every single time, like I can look back on the past 18 months and I can say every single time I misaligned with my standards, you know, I went against my values, I did something for somebody else, I did something to, to make somebody else feel better at the expense of me, I always lost. And it's those moments that I think to myself, man, so much waste of time. And so that gives me an opportunity for, for learning and for growth. And, you know, for those of you who've been with me over these past number of months and have heard different snippets of, of that family situation, you know, it gives you an opportunity to reflect on, on your life and your relationships and your different situations and hopefully pick up, you know, a nugget or two from what I've experienced. And so when I'm, when I'm thinking about, again, David Cassidy, so much wasted time. You know, I want to put this to you. I want to put this to you. How much time have you wasted feuding with a family member over who is right? And I put right in quotes, you know, air quotes, quote unquote, right. How much time have you wasted just clashing egos with somebody where neither person is willing to give up ground? How much time have you wasted beating yourself up for something that you did or something that you said years ago. You know, having those regrets and dwelling on those regrets and allowing those regrets to impact you today. How much time have you wasted comparing yourself to others and weighing your luck or your misfor misfortunes against the successes of other people? How much time have you wasted chasing the, what I call the small s success. Success with a small s is all about the money that you make, the career that you have, the titles that you stack up, the praise and the accolades that other people give you, the houses and the cars and the vacations. That's success with a small s. So how much time have you wasted chasing that as opposed to the success with a big s? And that's who you're becoming in the process. 
How much time have you wasted being stuck in a state of fear and being paralyzed? Too afraid to move because of all of the things that your mind, your ego is telling you are definitely going to happen. Too afraid to get out of the relationship. Too afraid to publish the book. Too afraid to start the blog. Too afraid to have the conversation. Too afraid to leave the job. Too afraid to start the business. Because of all the things that you are convinced are going to go wrong. You know, how much time have you wasted playing the, the if only game? Or the well, what if game? I know me personally, I have spent so much time and energy wanting to change other people. Wanting people to just get it and see things the way that I see things. I spent so much, so much time and energy worrying about what other people think about me or about what people are saying about me when I'm not around. Things that I cannot control. I spent tons of time wishing that I were more confident, that there was a, a confidence drink. I could drink this and feel 10 times more confident. I spent so much time, wasted so much time comparing myself to others, saying, man, I'm not as handsome as that person. I'm not as tall as that person. I'm not as strong. My muscles aren't as big. Women don't like me as much as that person. They don't find me sexy as they, as they find that person. I spent so much time comparing myself and my business and what I've been able to achieve in my business to other people's businesses, looking at them with with eyes of envy as opposed to eyes of inspiration. And I've spent so much time judging myself and being insanely critical about every single little thing that I do or I don't do, judging my diligence on on my my personal growth journey. You know, judging my routines. Oh, I said I was going to meditate for 10 minutes, but I spent eight of those minutes going through the to-dos on my list. You're failing, Matthew. You're not great at meditating. You can't even do any, you can't even do the the simplest of self-help things for yourself to improve your life. How are you going to, if you can't just meditate for 10 minutes, how are you going to be able to raise a kid? Man, I've spent so much time just playing those games, wasted so much time expending all this energy and emotion and, and, and planting it in non-fertile soil. And so it is always, you know, tragic when, when somebody dies and when you see family members of that person grieving and hurt and sad, you know, I, I don't wish that on anybody because I've been there and it sucks. But you know what? There are lessons that we can take. And when somebody shares their final words as so much wasted time, I think a part of that was to let those know who are listening. Because there's a lot of people who are listening. Hey, you have opportunity. You have an opportunity because you're still breathing. You're still here. So even if you have no clue who David Cassidy is, you never watched The Partridge Family or any of that stuff, there is something you can take from those final words. I recommend that everyone listening, and I'm I'm doing this already, and I'm going to continue to do it, self-reflect about where you might be expending time, expending energy, that you are getting nothing for return, and that is not enhancing your overall well-being. Because it's okay to make deposits in other people and to spend your time, energy, and money and not get it back. That's okay. You know, that's a lot of times that's what donating your time and energy to charity is all about. You don't necessarily get that back. But it does raise your overall well-being. It raises your vibration. It raises your energy. So where are you spending time, money, and resources and you're getting nothing for return? In in fact, it is pulling your energy, your life, your happiness down. Those are the areas to investigate. Those are the areas to take a step back from, to get out of your ego and to say, what am I really doing? Why am I doing this? Have I been doing this for weeks, months, years? 
Everybody loves a sequel, especially when it comes to the world's most comfortable shoe. Introducing the Allbirds Wool Runner 2, a next-level revamp of the cult classic. Seven years in the making, it's been completely reimagined for a game-changing fit and feel. With enhanced cushioning and super soft materials, the Wool Runner 2 delivers comfy all-day wear built for bliss. Visit Allbirds.com and use code FRESH24 to score a free pair of socks with purchase. That's A-L-L-B-I-R-D-S dot com, code FRESH24. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. What is the juice in this for me? Because there's a reason why we waste time. We get something from it. So have the guts to really investigate what you get by staying in that relationship that you know is not benefiting you, what are you getting from it? Maybe you get to continue playing the role of victim. Hmm. There's some juice in that for some people. Or maybe you enjoy wasting your time procrastinating and putting off that business you're going to start. And perhaps there's some juice in that in being the on-the-cusp entrepreneur. Because you get to get all the, the benefits of people saying, oh, wow, so-and-so is going to start a business, but you don't have to take on all the consequences of actually doing it. So there's some juice in it for you. So why are you wasting time? Identify where you're wasting time and then ask yourself, why are you doing it? And then, I think this will happen naturally, you'll want to waste less time. But if it doesn't happen very naturally for you, maybe you need another kick in the butt. Pick one area, one single area where you can reverse some of that. You can reclaim some of that time. Maybe it's in a relationship. Maybe it's in a project. Whatever it is. Because how many people have to pass and leave behind the message of I've wasted so much time. Before we, the ones who are still breathing, whose hearts are still beating in our chest, before we get it. You know, in, in sales, they talk about needing to touch the potential customer six, seven, eight times before they actually make a sale. So that could be emailing them eight times, cold calling them eight times, whatever it is, you might need to touch them eight times before they actually take the action that you want them to. So with that logic... We're saying that seven more people need to die and to need to deliver the message of so much wasted time before we get it. I personally am not interested in, in other people making that sacrifice for me. I'm cool. I got it. I got it. Because I can look back to an experience I just had a few days ago. It's Monday the 27th. Thanksgiving was like three days ago. And I can look back and say, man, we had a really beautiful family gathering. I wasted a lot of time and energy being misaligned because that family gathering came together because Sarah and I stood for our standards. We were unwilling to accept any other sort of behavior. And when we made our standards clear, the rest of the family got in line. And things shifted. That was the moment when things completely shifted, when we became clear in our standards. So I, for myself, have this beautiful example of what it looks like to no longer waste time by playing other people's games, to no longer waste time by trying to make other people feel better, no longer waste time by worrying about what other people are, are thinking and trying to control other people, and be clear on my standards clear on why I'm holding them, clear on what I value. So, I hope for you that something in this episode stuck because, man, even if you can reclaim just a little bit of time, of energy, of emotion, that's a beautiful thing. And I think we all are wasting time somewhere. And I'm not talking from a productivity standpoint. 
you know. And if nothing, nothing else from this episode, Katie Cassidy really talked about the gratitude that she has for the people that are in her, her life. And that's one thing that you can take from this is just being grateful for those who are here, for those you do have around you. That's a simple thing to do. It doesn't necessarily require you to, to peel back the onion layers or reopen those wounds or look at the self-sabotaging you're doing. Although all of those, to me, are paths to your true healing and to your true growth. But I get it. Sometimes those are too scary. Those paths are just too terrifying to go down. So something a little bit easier, a little bit more palatable is gratitude. Express that gratitude. Because the abundant, loving life is there for all of us. All of us. It's abundant. That means there's plenty to go around. We can all experience an abundant, loving life life in all six of those F's, faith, family, friends, fitness, finance, and fun. We can experience it. It's there. So that's what I got for you today. You know, I, I'm going to absolutely do a little bit more reflecting after concluding this episode because I feel it. I don't know. There's just something about that, that statement, so much wasted time that really, uh, obviously has touched me. So again, if you have any thoughts about this episode or any comments or feedback, get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to share with me where you've been wasting some time, you know, if you want to share because I can help hold you accountable simply by you sharing it with me, you're putting it out in the universe. I'm happy to be that person for you. MattCBivens at gmail.com. You can also go check out my website MatthewBivens.com. I'm going to be adding some cool stuff there over the next couple of weeks. I, um, I have some, some intentions of putting some additional content on the website that's going to be something that I hope everybody enjoys. So stay tuned for that. And, you know, I'm very, very appreciative for you joining me today. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your week. My name is Matthew Bivens, and here's to you having it all. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.